All right, this one is actually pretty interesting, so stick with me. Qualcomm is already working on its next big flagship chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6. Yeah, Gen 6, even though Gen 5 is still fresh. This is how early the chip world moves. And now we're hearing something new that could change a lot. Until now, most people thought Qualcomm was only making two versions of this chip, one normal Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 and one stronger version probably called the Pro. Pretty normal stuff. But a new leak says there might be a third version too, and this one is special. This third version could be made by Samsung using Samsung's new 2 nanometer process. That's a big deal. Let me break this down in simple terms. When Qualcomm makes a chip, it doesn't actually build it themselves. They design it, then they ask companies like TSMC or Samsung to manufacture it. Think of Qualcomm as the brain designer and TSMC or Samsung as the factory. For the last few years, Qualcomm has trusted TSMC way more than Samsung, mainly because Samsung had issues with heat, power use, and consistency. Phones would get hot, battery would drain faster, and performance was not stable. So Qualcomm moved most flagship chips to TSMC. Now, fast forward to today. Qualcomm is planning the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6, and according to a very famous leaker called Digital Chat Station, Qualcomm is preparing more versions than we expected. Two of them have internal names, SM8950 and SM8975. These are not marketing names, just internal codes. These two are still expected to be made by TSMC using something called the N2P node. Don't worry about the fancy name, just know this, N2P is TSMC's 2 nanometer tech, and it's a big jump forward. Compared to the current chips, this new process could give around 18% better performance. That means faster apps, better gaming, smoother everything. And at the same time, power use could drop by more than one third. That means better battery life, faster phone, less battery drain, that's the dream. Right now, chips like the Snapdragon 8 Elite in phones like the Galaxy S25 Ultra are made on older tech, still very good, but not as efficient as what's coming next. So TSMC N2P already sounds amazing, but here's where it gets spicy. Digital Chat Station says Qualcomm may not be using only TSMC this time. There could also be a Samsung-made version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6, using Samsung's own 2 nanometer process. Yes, Samsung 2 nanometer. If this is true, it means Qualcomm is giving Samsung Foundry another chance at the very top level. This Samsung version won't replace the TSMC ones, it would be a separate variant. Different code name, different production line, same basic chip design. Why would Qualcomm do this? Simple answer, options. Making flagship chips is expensive, very expensive. If Qualcomm depends on only one factory, that's risky. Prices can go up, supply can get tight, and delays can happen. By using both TSMC and Samsung, Qualcomm can make more chips faster and maybe cheaper. Also, Samsung has been improving quietly. Their 2 nanometer process is supposed to be a big step forward compared to their older stuff. Less heat, better power control, and more stable performance. On paper, it looks promising. Now, will Samsung's 2 nanometer be as good as TSMC's 2 nanometer? That's the big question. TSMC is still the king right now. Their chips are known for being efficient, cool, and reliable. Samsung still has something to prove, and that's why this Samsung-made Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 is still a mystery. No benchmark numbers yet, no power data, nothing solid. And interestingly, this Samsung version does not share the same internal codes as the TSMC ones. That tells us it might arrive later or be used in limited devices. Now let's talk about where this chip might show up. There's a strong hint that Samsung and Qualcomm might already be working together on something similar for the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, especially for Samsung's upcoming foldable phones. Think Galaxy Z Fold and Z Flip. 
Samsung loves to use custom chips for their own phones when they can. If they can get a Snapdragon chip made in their own factory, that's a win for them. More control, better integration, and maybe better tuning for their phones. So it's very possible that the Samsung 2 nanometer Snapdragon chip will first appear in Samsung-only devices, maybe Galaxy exclusives, maybe foldables, maybe even a 4 Galaxy-style chip again. Now let's be clear about timing. Qualcomm is not announcing this chip tomorrow, or next month. Based on past years, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 will likely be announced around September or October. That's still a long way off. Everything we're talking about right now is early info. Plans can change, Samsung's yields could improve or fail, Qualcomm could change their mind. But the fact that this is being discussed at all tells us something important. Qualcomm is keeping its options open. And honestly, that's good for us. More competition between TSMC and Samsung means better chips in the end, better performance, better battery life, and hopefully less overheating. If Samsung really nails 2 nanometer this time, it could shake things up. If not, Qualcomm still has TSMC as the safe option. So, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 lineup could look like this. One standard version made by TSMC, one Pro version also made by TSMC, probably clocked higher, and one Samsung-made version on 2 nanometer, possibly for specific phones or brands. Three versions instead of two. More choice, more experiments, more interesting phones. For now, we wait. More leaks will come, benchmarks will leak, power numbers will leak, and then we'll really see if Samsung is back in the game or not. But one thing is clear. The next generation of Android flagship phones is going to be very exciting. Faster, cooler, more efficient, and maybe even more competitive than ever before. Keep an eye on this, because this story is just getting started.